and Two Chains been rocking since I wait. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, like we had so many different songs that we that we did since I wait. So many different mixtape records and so many different street records. So it was like um, we had a record on on um, Codeine Cowboy that he was thinking it was gonna be a single, and that was the um, that was a La La with him and Busta okay. Rhymes. So it was either between that. Or I'm riding around and I'm getting it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm riding around and I'm getting it. Ended up being a single. So, boom, I missed, I missed it on that one. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, when um, True Religion came out, um, we, we were like, man, yo, we got to go for it. You know what I'm saying? We got to go for a crazy joint. Mm -hmm. So, we did a joint. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't just crazy. So, then that's when Got One was the last record he recorded for it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? His mixtape. And then he put that as the first song on his, on his mixtape. So, it wasn't a single. But it, it ended up being like a joint that he, you know what I'm saying, performed at every show. He just came out every show, every time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, then when this album came around, he was like, man, look, it's album time. I need you to bring me them yams. That's what he call them. Mm -hmm. And then I need you to bring me them yams. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I came down there. I loaded up, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just playing back-to-back -back joints. Bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? No lie, was like the second joint. So he heard that. He was like, hey, man, make sure you put that to a side. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Then he recorded on another joint that's going to be on this album that night. And then um, he went back and he was just listening, no lie. He was like, yo, you just running different ideas. He was like, man, I might just have, I might not even do a hook. I might just have Baby talking on here. Or I might not even do a hook and just have Diddy talking on here. Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm gonna do something big with this joint yeah. though. I'm gonna have a big feature on here. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I do with it, like this shit is crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm like, yeah, it got it got your energy on there definitely. So whoever whoever come on there, you know what I'm saying? Tell them to just play. It. They all the way part. Like play them, play them all the way. Like don't even try to come your way. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Just you know what I'm saying? Just do them. And I promise you, like this shit will be a problem. So when he told me he was gonna get Drake on the record, I'm like, yeah, that that'll be extra dope. Cause yeah. I ain't really. If he would ask me for a, for a joint for him and Drake, I wouldn't even play that beat. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I was curious to see how how the how it would go because, like, um, Drake is a dope artist, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like he can get on any beat. So um, when when um, he was letting me know he was getting it to Drake, and then Drake texted him, and Drake was like, "Yo, I killed it," and woo woo. And then Two Chains hit me at six in the morning. And was like, "Yo, nigga, we got one, nigga." I'm talking about nigga, this shit is crazy, yeah. woo woo. And you know Drake, and he told me Drake was on the hook, so I'm like, man. He's a mastermind with the hooks. So um, we went on tour. I went on tour with him one time, and he let me hear it on the back of the bus. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then I heard it, and then I was like, oh, yeah, it's a hit. Yeah. Like, no brainer. You know what I'm saying? Because after the first time I heard it, it didn't take me two times to hit a record to know the hook. And that's how you know you got a hit.